Welcome to episode 41 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William. In this episode, I want us to cure an issue that is with our models. We were able to handle the closing of the model when we use this button and this one, and we were able to reset our form once that is done. But there is a scenario that I did not capture where when a user clicks outside the model, we are not able to, to capture that and reset. And so basically, I want us to handle that. So let us go ahead and, and look at if what I'm saying is actually true. So I will type in some uh, gibberish inside our inputs. And when I click outside, this model is going to be closed. But when I click create again, you can see it still has the inputs that we did put initially. So in this case, if we click outside, it's not resetting the form. But as you can see, if I click either this button or this one, then our form is going to be reset. Of course, if I come to check, you can see there is nothing. Everything has been emptied from our form. So basically, that is what I want us to work on and be able to correct. So now... The model is being launched from the create product model. So we have included that LiveWire component here inside our all products model. So basically, I can just go and, and, and show you how we were handling that. So inside our create product model, which I'm going to open uh, just now, create product, this one. We have methods that we were using to close, in this case, to reset. So in this case, inside our close button, so the, the one that is above there, the one that is usually an X, we are attaching, we are calling a method close inside our LiveWire class. Of course, even below here where we have the other close button, again, we are doing the same. And I think that one is inside the footer. So again, you can see, for this button that we are having with a class of secondary, the button that is called close, we also attached a, a click handler whereby we were calling a method called close. And if, I, if I'm to just show you what that method does in our, in our component, so we have create product component here. This method that we are calling close is actually resetting everything in our form is actually calling a method called this reset but as you can see we also have an, an event uh, listener here that is called reset model so in this case if we have an event that is called reset model it can be able to be listened here and it can be able to do the reset so basically this is what i'm going to use for us to be able now to cover the three scenarios at once so let me just scroll and open the product, all products component, and that is where we are going to put our JavaScript. And obviously, if you are making your, your, your model component reusable, probably this is not the best place to put your code. You can be able to put it in a JavaScript file, maybe outside, or you can be able to attach it to, you can be able to attach it maybe to the, layouts file because the layout file spans all the pro the components so basically this is where i'm going to open and what i want to do i want to to in this case get an element using javascript vanilla javascript so i'm going to declare a variable which i'm going to call my model and this i'm going to say document dot get element by id and the element that i'm going to pass here is called example example model where am i getting this one from if you check in our live wire class in this case not the live wire but the, the live wire component the create product live wire component you will find that uh, this create product uh, component where we have the model, we have given the model an ID of example model. So that is what I am targeting. So let us go back and um, see what we are going to do. So here, this is what I'm targeting. And I want to attach 
an event listener and I want us to listen to when this model is closed and that will be able to handle the three scenarios. So what we are going to have is my model dot add event listener and then we are listening to an event called hidden dot bs model and this is a bootstrap event. Of course I'm going to have a comma then we can have an arrow function, can have event, and then we will continue and have it like that. And here I want us to just alert um, button closed just to check if it works. So let me go ahead and refresh. And then I will open the create button and then close it. Now you can see button closed. Even when I open the edit button and I close it, you can see button closed. When I even use the, the close button that is below here, still it works. And now when I do the closing of the button by clicking outside, still button closed. So in this case, this can be able to handle the three scenarios. And now what I want to do is just to call a method that you reset. Above here, when we were, we were closing the model after some time, after submitting the form successfully, we were calling a method or we were dispatching an event which is reset model. And I think that will be able to do everything perfect for us. And obviously, that means that there are things that become obsolete. Whatever it is that we did in our create product, the, the handler for this button here has no meaning anymore. And also the handler that was uh, closing again, that was being dispatched in this case to the close method, this one also does not have any meaning. And also for this one, it also doesn't have any meaning now because we can be able to listen using our new method. And now I want us to just try and see if everything works perfectly. So again, I want to just scroll upwards and attempt to type in something inside our create method like that. And if I click outside, now if I try to open create again, you can see that everything has been cleared out. Let us just try it again. If I have it like this and I attempt to type in something, a description, and some price and we click outside you can see that the form has been reset and of course this will reset the form in all the other instances thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe share and you can also comment and if you like the video go ahead and like it thank you